<clears throat> my last match in WWE, I'll share this with you guys too, is that, again, because there's a little bit of takeaway here from all this shit, is I wrestled John Cena. And I went in, I think it was 2013, I went in WWE champion, and uh, we went in MetLife Stadium. We, we had a record-breaking attendance, which was amazing that night. We accomplished our goal. So I wrestled with John Cena. We had 45 minutes planned for the match. It's nonstop go, right? So your conditioning is tested. And at that time, I, I wasn't full-time in WWE. I was just doing these spot matches where I, would, I was still shooting G.I. Joe, I think, or Pain and Gain at that time. Or, I, oh no, it was, um, it was Fast and Furious 6 in London. Had to travel in the ring, get all my ring work in, travel back to shoot uh, Fast and Furious, then back, WWE Raw, doing those shows. The big build up to WrestleMania against John. We get to MetLife Stadium. It's a big night. This is it. It's game night, right? It's, it's, it's championship night for me. 45 minute match planned out. There's no cut. There's no, all right, well, let's pick it back up tomorrow. You know, it's go time. It's just like you guys in a game. At the 15 minute mark, bang. I feel something pop. I'm like, boom, what the fuck? I'm laying there and both of us are out. I said, oh fuck, something's going on. And uh, I stick my hand, that was 85,000 people, right? And we're just laid out like this. I kind of roll over, I stick my hand down in my trunk just to see, I want to make sure that there was no bone sticking out. So if there's no bone sticking out, what the fuck, something just happened. Referee comes over and he's like, Rocky, all right? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I think I'm all right. I said, fuck. <laughs> I get up, I go to step, and I, I can't step. I can't do this. I have to use my leg like momentum. I gotta do that. So now in that moment, and you guys are gonna have these moments, you probably already had them already, where you're in the game and you're in the thick of things, and you gotta make a decision. What do I gotta do? I'm gonna stay in the game, I'm committed to the team, I committed to my team, the whole entire roster, right? <clears throat> and in the world of wrestling, when you have a big show like this and you have a big main event that the entire show is based around, the wrestlers will come up to the two people in the main event at some point all throughout the night in the locker room and just be like, hey, thank you for the house. I appreciate it. Thank you for the house. And what that means is that's their way of saying thank you for drawing, helping draw 85,000 people and putting a lot of fucking money in my paycheck, in my bank account. Thank you for the house. We got a lot of thank you for the houses that night. <clears throat> Bang. This happens and now I realize I can't move my leg. And I got 30 minutes left of this match. And it's not just like fucking around. I mean, these are like, we, we gotta put on a show. There's a lot of big flying and suplexes and all that. So I could tell the rest says, are you okay? And I have one moment. In this moment, it was a defining moment. I could either tell him, no, nope, I'm done. He'd give the signal, match is over. Or, let's keep going. And again, this is a little takeaway for you guys. If you ever have this moment, I'm sure you have. If you haven't, it's coming. We have this decision. I said, no, let's keep going. I said, how much time is left? He's like, 32 minutes. I'm like, fuck, okay. Rest of the whole match, <clears throat> couldn't move. Doing everything like this. I'm getting scared because I'm thinking, man, well, what happens if I, if I, if I pinch something or something like, you know, I don't know, your mind starts fucking with you in the moment. There's 85,000 people, your adrenaline's rushing. I'm thinking, man, what happens if I'm gonna lose my leg or some shit like this, if I've just done something to my artery? Final move of the match is his big finishing move. <clears throat> and I remember, I'm getting up and I'm turning like this because I have to fall into him. He's gonna hit me with his big finisher. It's like a massive suplex where I go over his head and fucking slams me down. And I remember turning, I remember turning into John and he says, and I remember thinking to myself, God, please don't let this be too bad. Just take care of me. Take care of me. Bang! I feel boom! I don't know what the fuck just happened. Now, luckily, the match is over. He pins me, one, two, three. Comes in the back, I get to the back, I can't move. Now, I'm getting a little nervous. <clears throat> and um, doctors come in, John comes in, you okay? He, he comes in, we always like to celebrate with booze, he, he brings like moonshine, like legit moonshine. It's like crazy white boy shit that they bring, <laughs> like in a, in a jar, this is moonshine. Hey, let's have some moonshine, it's okay. <clears throat> don't know what's happening, rush, uh, get on a jet, rushed home to my doctor's down in Florida, and uh, 
get an MRI, find out that I have completely torn my adductor, the top of my, my adductor and my top of my quad off my pelvis. Yes, really, really fucked up. So it's a very long story to tell you. What I was proud of was to walk out on my own, but not only that, but in this fucking moment where the odds are against you, people are watching, your team's depending on you, you either say, I'm done, or this shit, whatever the fuck is going on, it's temporary, and it may fuck me up at some point down the road, but I'm not gonna let this opportunity go by without giving it my all.